We spend a ton of time on our phones these days, and a lot of that time is spent also driving in our cars. So when it comes time to choosing which phone mount works best and where that phone mount should be placed, it really helps to consider all of the options available. So today I'm gonna to look at three of the most popular options. I've been in need of a new phone mount for some time now. This old one that I had here clipped right into the vent, as you can see, and it did a decent job of holding my phone until the arms broke off on it. So I ordered this new Vansky 3-in-1 phone mount. Uh, it came in one day off of Amazon, and it's gonna let me test out the three different, uh, what I consider to be the most popular options for mounting your car. And those range from the air vent mount, to the dash mount, to the universal windshield mount. So I'm gonna show you each one of those real quick and then go into which one I like best for mounting my phone. First, we'll take a look at the air vent clip-in mount. Then we'll take a look at the classic dashboard mount. Then we'll take a look at a windshield mount setup. There are also some other types of mounts and mounting places available out there. Uh, one of those is a CD changer mount and the other is a cup holder mount. And I'm kind of placing those in the other category. We're not even gonna look at it because they're not that practical. Uh, the CD changer mount, normally uh, your phone is blocking something on the dash panel and the cup holder mount is just too low. It's kind of hard to get to and look at and it's too much of a distraction. It's too long to take your eyes off of the road. The air vent mount is gonna be easy to access while you're driving. It's not gonna be a complete distraction where it's blocking your view on the road, but you can easily peer down on it without taking your eyes too far off the road. Now it's also kind of out of the heat, so on a hot day, it's less likely to overheat than other mounts up on the windshield, which is nice uh, and definitely something to consider if you drive in a place that heats up during the summer. One downside of this mounting position is that if it's actually really cold out and you have the heat blasting, uh, your phone can overheat from the internal heating system of your car blowing hot air on it. Now I like this Vansky mounting setup uh, with the arms extending out here around my phone, but there are also some cool magnetic mounts out there that you might wanna consider. Uh, if you're using your phone a lot and you need to pull it in and out of the mount, it's pretty easy for me to do here, but the uh, magnetic mounts are also very easy to use and you're not gonna ever have to worry about undoing anything that's holding your phone onto the mount. I really like this dashboard mounting position. Uh, it's so easy for me to see when I'm looking at the road that I almost don't even have to take my eyes off the road to see something that pops up in my phone. One thing that I would worry about is looking at my phone too much if I have it right here and available and it becoming a distraction on the road. As I mentioned earlier, up here on the dashboard is more likely to overheat your phone, which is kind of nice uh, about this Vansky 3-in-1 phone mount. If it's a really hot day, I might not keep my phone up here on the dashboard. I might move it down into another position and put it down here uh, in the air vent clip. Another potential downside of this dashboard mounting position is the suction cup that's used to mount your phone on the dashboard. Now these do a good job of holding your phones, uh, but a lot of people say that they tend to fall off eventually. And if you're worried about your phone falling while you're driving and causing a distraction, you may not wanna place your phone here and you might wanna go with another option. Personally, I noticed that my dashboard was a little bit dusty when I first mounted this and it feels less secure than it should be. Uh, this feels like the least secure option out of the three different mounting positions that I have. The last position is over here on the windshield and I've been wanting to try this position for a long time uh, because once again, it is up kind of in my range of sight but not necessarily a distraction because I'm not having it placed right in the middle of my windshield. I have it off to the side over here. And I will say that it is a suction cup holding it on, uh, but this feels really sturdy here, like it's not gonna fall off anytime soon. And as mentioned before, up here on the windshield is potentially a place where this phone mount could overheat. Of these three different phone mount positions, the most reliable is probably gonna be the air vent clip uh, because it's really hard for the phone to fall out and for the phone mount itself to become loose in this position. Uh, and reliability is a huge factor when you're considering where to place your phone mount because you don't want to have any accidents occurring on the road uh, because of loose phones flying here and there and taking your eyes off of the road. This particular phone mount, the Vansky, is going to be very easy to adjust and manipulate if you want to move it around different mounting positions. The back of it just loosens up at this part right here and then it goes over the ball mount, snaps in, and then you want to tighten it up uh, right here to make sure that it is secure once it's been adjusted. The front arms easily move in and out by pressing this button on the back and they will just slide out automatically. And then you can press them back in to adjust to your phone size. And then these bottom legs swivel in and out to hold your phone from the bottom. My phone feels very secure when it is placed in between these arms and it doesn't feel like it's gonna fall out at all when it's on the road. 
The Vansky phone mount can also rotate to different positions uh, if you want to change up the angle that you're viewing your phone from. A lot of people favor the magnetic mounts over something like this Vansky mount with the arms uh, because the magnetic mounts are very easy. Uh, the convenience factor of getting your phone on and off the mount is super easy. It's just a matter of pulling it off. Uh, with the Vansky, it's also actually pretty easy to pull your phone on and off the mount. So I kind of like this mount just because I'm always weirded out by magnets and I worry that they're gonna mess up my phone's battery or throw off the signal on my cell phone for some reason. When I filmed this video, I was shooting it on my iPhone 7 Plus. So I was actually showing you my iPhone 5 in the different phone mount positions. Uh, but now that I'm actually driving, I have the iPhone 7 Plus in the mount and it's holding up just fine with the adjustable arms. It actually fits both of the different sizes. Uh, but that's all I got for today, guys. If you've used this phone mount before or you've used different positions, let me know which phone mount position you like best and why. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Uh, but it's Friday night, so I gotta get out of here and go ahead and have some fun.